I had seen Judd in chapter two, was just thought he was a genius. I knew him from, you know, the other television stuff that he had done. Uh, and Judd, you know, was, it was Judd Hirsch in Taxi. Judd Hirsch in Taxi. So he was already the big star of all of us. And I have never met a more gracious lead in my life. He could have pulled rank. He could have demanded more stories. He could have said every week the show has to be about me and these are minor characters. But he so gave himself over to the process and let, let all of us kind of be this very strong ensemble. And certainly with Danny's character, he was extremely gracious because Louis was kind of the breakout star that first year. But Judd is so good at playing solid, at playing, at funny. He's, he, and he has such a great sense of what a script should be, what twists and turns, what is missing, you know, the, if, is the music of the piece off? Uh, he always, some of the hardest shows that they had, because Taxi was pretty easy. You know, you'd read a script and go, oh my God, this is already gold. And then sometimes it's like, oh, that's a little bronze. We got to get it up to gold, you know. And Judd was so good at knowing exactly what needed to be done. And he could make anything work. They'd, they'd have him do crazy things and he could make it work. Um, so yeah, Judd, I'm a huge fan of Judd's. Yeah, he was great. He's great to work with. The relationship between Alex and Elaine was very, very special because, well, Judd and I had a lot of chemistry together anyway. I mean, what's funny is I didn't really talk to him that much and I'd seen him in New York uh, in chapter two and was such a fan. And we'd been working together for a couple weeks and then I, they did a story on TV Guide uh, about me. Um, we'd started together on uh, July the 5th and it was on, uh, on um, October, October the 2nd, I was talking to the TV Guide article guy and he said, well, I talked to some of the guys about you and I actually have a marriage proposal uh, for you from, to, from one of the guys. I said, Tony? And he said, no, blah, blah, blah. And I go through everybody. He said, no, Judd. And I went, Judd? Judd never even talks to me. What are you talking about? You know, anyway, so I went up to him the next day and I went, well, I accept, you know, so with, it started this like sparky thing. And then of course, within a couple months, we were dating each other and within a month we were dating each other. And, um, you know, he's one of my favorite people ever. I love him. We had a great time dating and then working together after we stopped dating. It didn't matter. I mean, people go, well, you dated two of your co-stars, you know, Tony and Judd. And I say, hey, we were on five years. It was 77 guys connected to the project one way or the other every single day. I think two, that's pretty good. Those are pretty good odds. And we're all still great friends. You know, we were all still like really close and it didn't seem to affect anybody in a negative way. Um, but anyway, so there was this spark between Alex and Elaine and it wasn't really, you know, it was uh, uh, one of my favorite episodes for me was uh, Nardo Loses Her Marbles and that was shot on August the 24th of 1979 and um, it was basically where I'm like, you know, kind of losing it, doing too much, a little bit hyper. Uh, I go crazy at this art exhibit and Judd kind of carries me out of there and rescues me kind of, and I'm fighting with him in the car and he and I are talking to each other. And, uh, and all of a sudden I like, I have this like, Oh, well, what if I need a shoulder to cry on and this and that? And I said, what if I need something else? And I kiss him and he pulls away from me. I say, come on, why not? And he says, no, I said, fine. You've never been attracted to me. He said once the day you wore that red red and white striped dress, right? So anyway, he makes me go and see a therapist. I go and see a therapist played by Tom Ewell and I have this little breakdown scene and it was really a, a very good episode for me. And then of course the, the tag is I show up in the, off, in the garage in the red and white striped dress. Um, so that was kind of laying the groundwork so that maybe there was some kind of attraction between those two characters. That was second season and it wasn't until really the beginning of fourth season that anything was realized in an episode called Vienna Waits. So, um, yeah. And so Vienna Waits episode, he is going to Europe. I decide to go, I, I'm going to go. I'm free as a bird. I talk him into coming with me. We talk about the fact that, uh, uh, you know, he says, well, I don't know, you know, I might, uh, you know, have this steamy girl, blah, blah. It's like, fine, you go off with, you know, and I'll go off with Aldo and we, you know, we'll have fun. So now I go to Europe, Elaine goes to Europe. I meet somebody on the plane. Every city we go to, I've got a date, whether it's a Greek fisherman or, you know, somebody who's in England and all these things. Finally, the last night in Vienna, uh, you know, we have this thing. He says, I wanted that night. I wanted that night. And I say, well, 
um, you know, we've seen each other ugly and sad and this and that. Maybe our relationship can withstand one night of love, you know, and so we go off together. So now they've done the deed, but then it was back to usual at the garage. The other time it was kind of intimated that there was a thing between us was when, um, when uh, uh, Simka comes into the garage during the whole scene skis with a marriage. And that was at the beginning of fourth season. That was, in August, uh, that was shot in August of, uh, I'm not gonna do dates anymore. <laughs> anyway, so, so um, we shoot scene skis from a marriage and she comes into the garage and, and we have this girl talk thing and she asks me about Alex. And I say, even if I did, I probably wouldn't tell you, you know. So um, anyway, so there was always this underlying current, but he had dates, I had dates. We didn't get fixed up at the Schlugel. You know, there were so many other things that went on, but I think they all, always really adored one another and felt like they were best friends through it all. Would you have ever wanted to see them actually date and end up together? Um, Oh, wait, I forgot one of my favorite episodes where there was also this tremendous chemistry. It's when uh, Elaine's, you know, old friend, um, I have to lie about some guy I'm dating. So I, you know, Bill bored. And so we go out with the other couple and he says, "You, I'm going to be the, the best date you ever had. And he goes out and we, you know, there's this chemistry and stuff. Anyway, we end up kissing. I say, come on, you never felt it when we were kissing back there. You didn't feel it. He says, no, nothing. And I say, really? Nothing? He goes, nothing, nothing. And so then I kiss him again. You know, so there were these little moments that they knew that they could always go to and rely not only on Elaine and Alex's chemistry, but also the chemistry between Judd and me. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was kind of a thread throughout the piece. What well, do I think? I, you know, I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? 